Hi everyone, it's Sandra from Sandra Bianco Photography, and today we're going to go ahead and edit my sweet little kitty Oliver with the new Fur and Feathers collection. So the very first thing I did was I went ahead and just cleaned up around his eyes with my spot healing tool and a little bit of the clone tool. So you can see that's all I did. I just want to go ahead and get those little details done so it, I didn't make this video any longer than it needs to be. Okay, the next thing, we're just going to go into the Fur and Feathers collection, and we're going to start with our color foundations, and I'm going to go ahead and run Swan Song. And you can see here, this is more of what my kitty really looks like with his coloring, even his eyes and everything. He's very orangey, um, and if anybody is concerned about his eye here that is called a cracked eye and it's completely normal and I find that super unique about him so I'm just going to go ahead and take this one song down to uh, let's say about 65 percent and that looks great the next thing we're going to do is go into our tone enhancers and I'm going to go ahead and run cats meow which is going to give us a nice clean vibrance I'll take that down just a bit. If I click on and off there, you can see what that's doing. And then we're going to go down into our retouch brushes. And I'm going to go ahead and use all over eye pop. And I'm just going to change my brush to 100% up there. And then I'll go ahead and reduce that opacity just a bit. The next thing I'm going to do is go into the tear stain cleaner. We're going to clean up around his eyes just a little bit more. So it tells you exactly what to do with the pop-up boxes. It says to correct the fur tone, okay. And then it's going to have me select a color. So I want to go ahead and clean up this area. So I'm selecting just a color just right above that. Hit continue. And then you're just going to go ahead and clean up that area just a little bit more and I can go ahead and run this again because the sides just a little bit different color I can just go ahead and run it again to do the other side so we'll go ahead and select this tone and again I'm just gonna go ahead and go around his eyes and just up into his little nose a little bit I might light that up a little bit too Okay, so that's we're starting with a really nice clean image by doing that. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to go into the Silky, the Coat and Plume brushes, and the Silky Plus Neutral. And this is just going to give him some really smooth, silky fur. And I'm going to go ahead and apply this at 100%. Actually, on him, because this image is so tight, I'm just going to go ahead and put this all over the image you can see what that does there and then I'm just gonna go ahead and reduce my opacity and that looks good there and then I want to mask off anything I want to keep in focus so I'm definitely gonna mask off his beautiful eyes and then I'm gonna go around his nose so that detail stays out and around his mouth a bit because I don't want to lose those details um, of his face. And I'm just outlining his ears a bit there. Okay, so the next, thing, okay, let me click that on and off so you can see what that's doing. Put that up a little bit. The next thing we're going to do is go into Creamy con Contrast. And I'm going to go ahead and put this all over him. This is actually one of my favorites in here. It's just makes everything so pretty. And I'm just going to go ahead and leave that as is because that looks gorgeous. And then we're going to go down into, here's, um, if you need any color cast brushes, they're right here. Um, we're going to go down into the background enhancers. And I am going to go ahead and start with this one. I'm going to go ahead and blend the background first. And it'll give you the pop-up. You can select three different colors. I'm actually going to select a whiter color on his fur. And then I'll select a little bit 
more up here. And if I if I didn't, I really don't need to select any more colors. So if I didn't need the third color, I could just hit cancel. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into my tone one. And I'm just gonna go ahead and paint this on around. So I just want like a nice, bright, clean white image is what I was going for here. And we may run this a little bit more later on. And then I'm gonna go into beautify the background. And again, you can select up to three colors. I am just gonna go ahead and select the one here. So I can hit cancel. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take this color here. And dab that on around the background. And I'm going to mask it off just a tiny bit over here. And sometimes what I do here on the edges is I'll just go ahead and reduce my brush opacity and just mask that off a little bit because I want a little bit of that shadow coming in on him. And then I'm going to show you another super cool little trick to get this really cleaned up in the background. Okay, we're going to go up to Final Color Pop. And that's just going to give him his real true color richness after we've done all of that. And then we're going to go up to, or down to, um, Ethereal Vignette. And that's going to just really, really clean up that background and give us that more dreamy look that I was looking for. So I'm going to go ahead and take my brush at 100% and go definitely like on the center of him here and where his fur is coming out to the right. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and reduce my opacity and I'm just gonna dab around the edges a bit. And you can see there, that gives us that real clean, dreamy white background. And then I am gonna go ahead and go up to define the details mild. Just gonna go ahead and paint that on him. And I'll take that down just a little bit. And the next thing I'm gonna do is go up, go down, go back up to final color pop again. I just give him a little bit more pop. And then I'll go ahead and take that down. And that looks good. And that's all I would do with this image. So let me show you the before and after. Bring this down a bit. Okay. So this is the before. That was after I cleaned up his just his eyes doing cloning and spot healing. And then that's our after. Before and after. So we hope you enjoy this collection. We think it's super fun. And check back for more videos. Thanks, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.